All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Start of the stream. No one's in yet. That's okay. Have a look at everything. Uh, this one. Activate poll. I've got a poll down below, guys. Uh, do you guys want to see more Minecraft with friends content? Um, I'm also willing to do some Star Wars content. I'm playing a lot of Empire at War recently. I'm playing a lot of mods on that. A lot of fun. <clears throat> anyway, so what we're here to do, guys, is play some Mountain Blade Battlelord 2. Eagle Rising. A Roman mod overhaul. Um, they're slowly adding in different cultures, like the Carthaginians, and I think we've got uh, some Celts and things like that already in. But yeah... It's a good experience. They've um, they've gone for immersion in this mod a lot. So your swords aren't really for slashing. You can slash. It's not needed, but you can. We'll skip that. It's not part of this mod. Alrighty. We have the Empire. Now I'm streaming and recording. Oh my god, look at that beautiful man. Look at Kendall. Alright. Make him a big tall dude. He will generate armor, it just takes a moment. Alright. Oh, look at our father if we pick that. What a family to be born into. Look at this man's majestic helmet. I strive for a helmet of this magnitude. You know what? Yes. That was our dad. That man had helmets for days. Alright, we're going to join up with the legionaries. We're going to be serving as a soldier in this mod. We're not... We will, at one point... Uh, become a lord with an army, but we'll grind our way up through the ranks. We'll join other lords and fight alongside them. So tune in, grab some snacks, something to drink, and relax and what enjoy the show. Leadership skills, we'll say, uh, uh, we work in the smithy. Here's some trade and some charm skill. Ooh, uh, commander's staff. Oh, dude, look at that hat. That is the best helmet I've ever seen. Not as good as our dad's helmet, obviously. That was the best helmet I've ever seen. This, this is... Whoop. Hold on. Now I'm invisible. It's trying to load textures and such. You defeated an enemy in battle. We'll go for that. More skills. Let's just get in there. Alright. Lelianus. No, 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 no. My friends. We will be playing as Smil Do Fragons. Because this man's going to be fragging off. Enable birth and death. Yes. It's funny that you can do this and then have this clan death member death possibility in battles reduced by 100%. So they can't die in battles, but they can die of old age. No, 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 no. no. Realistic. Uh. Bam. Set everything to realistic, dude. No problems. Persuasion chances. Realistic. Combat. AI. We'll just leave on normal. Leave everything at default. Player damage received. Look at that. Alright. This is going to be an intense playthrough. Let's do it. Let's go join the legionary. Now there's three empires. There's the Northern Empire, the Western Empire, and the Southern Empire. Or the Southern Imperium, as they're called in this mod. Our brother, Nathanos, at the training grounds. Smildo gained a level. We're not going to do the tutorial. That's for chums. And look at our armor. We are no chump. By the way, when we join the Legionary, we will be set to a Tier 1 Roman unit. Meaning we get all the same gear as a Roman recruit. Now, we are Schmilgbo Schmagenge. The most overpowered Legionary you have ever seen. Well, one day. Uh, what's, a, what's a perfect perfect sigil for Schmilbo? What do we reckon? Schmilbo. What's just screams Schmilbo? Schmilbo, Schmilbo. Uh, helmets! 
Lord of Helmets. Now these are really our style helmets, but I like helmets. Ah, oh, look. That is Schmilbo's father. Schmilbo's father leads us to victory. Our flag's not going to be on display very much anyway. So, this is the map. We've got our Western Imperium factions of the Julii. We've got our Northern Imperium faction up here. Uh, which is the... Uh, I can't see it properly from here. Oh, yeah, the Tarpii. I think that's how it's pronounced. Please um, correct me if I'm wrong. And the Cornelii. Oh, the Tarquinii. You've got a bunch of different sort of, yeah. So you've got Southern Imperium, Northern Imperium, Western Imperium. Um, in my own time, I played and I joined um, Empress Regea over here in the Southern Empire. But I, I saved a lot of the details of what I actually wanted to see in battles for you guys. We're going to go over here, I think. We're going to join up with the Western Imperium. And we're going to face off against the Celts. Which replaced Flandia, I believe. Also some Gauls up here. Some reworked Batanians. Alright, everything's realistic, so we got to be careful as we make our way to new lands. Da-dum. 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 We're sneaking to pour us now. Um, I'll have a look at the chat real quick. Just let me know, guys, if anyone's watching, if the audio needs any work or anything like that. Alrighty, continuing on. Dun it, net, 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 net. Alright, we're sneaking on through. Is there anyone to recruit here? Can we pick up a guy? Ooh. A Praetorius Tiro. Alright, so let's have a look at the some of the some of the Romans. There's a lot of Roman uh, troop trees from what I've experienced. So if we go here and we go Imperium. So you have your auxilia. Your auxilia units start as an auxilia tiro. It's got a spear, sword, a spear, gladius, and shield. A round shield. Much more like a proper auxiliary as opposed to a legionary. You've got some slingers, some light horse, and some light archers. Um, and then you've got, I think this is just not supposed to be here, but it's fine. Uh, where are they? Here we go. You've got your legionaries. So you've got your vexillifier. So these are like your morale boosting type guys, I think. If I can get them to show up properly. There we go. So yeah, you've got these guys here. They're pretty cool. Inspire your men. And then you've got your, yeah, Praetorians. It's pretty good. There is a bit more to it, but we'll see that as we join the Legion. Alright, we need to find a Lord. A great and noble Lord to serve. Schmilbo will not serve just any peasant. Oh god, that's that's uh, nine looters and we are one dude. Let's not goof with that right now. Nemos, you have 120 men to your name? That looks like a man that could leave, lead Schmilbo Schmagenge. Alright. Come on out. Nemos. I wish to sign up with the Legion, sir. I'm Schmildo. I forgot it's not Schmildo, it's Schmildo Schmagens. Nemos of the House of Julii. One of the most illustrious families in the annals of the Empire. The barbarians we have slain, the glory we have won is second to none. Damn straight it is. Alright. It is indeed second to none. Hi, I'm none. Alright. Um, something I'd like to discuss. I want to serve in your war band as a soldier. Alright, now you leave. And, just like that, we've joined the army. Now he's going to roam around until they get into a war. 
We're going to get skills and things like that just by kind of being with him. Oh, dude. That's it. King Garios, Emperor Garios is off to war already. Dude, these are the, dudes look like they have more of like a Roman knight design. Like with the round shields as opposed to the... That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that aesthetic change. You'll see it. We'll end up at war with the Southern Empire. So we'll get to see the differences between how their units typically look. Or the ones they tend to go for anyway. I noticed that the Southern Empire uses a lot of auxiliaries. But then they also spend a lot of time fighting desert kingdoms and like Hunnic type tribes which are like over here. So, uh, over there. There is a siege at Veron Castle. Krotor has an army here as well. We have two big armies with the Western Imperium. Almost 15, over 1500 men on the field. Well, I'm not going to get that on the field. You know, it's a thousand. Let me double check that. I think I've got it turned to a thousand. I do. I've played this mod a fair bit and it can actually handle it. It's nice and smooth. Now, uh, for anyone like King or those guys from the Game of Thrones mod, if you're watching this, I am playing the Game of Thrones mod, just giving it a bit of a break. Playing one mod for ages. Yeah, I had to had to take a break. Alrighty, let's get into it, dude. All right, this is going to be a slaughter for our side. Let's do it. Let's get it, let's get it. Let us murder the barbarians. Smildo Schmagans fears nothing. Except for possibly getting javelined to the face. That would not be great. I imagine the order from our commander will be just to charge. Yeah, so we command, um, if you're not aware of what the service soldier mod is, we don't get command of units. That is not the point of this let's play. We are the unit. The AI will command us as they see fit and we will try to obey and stay alive. Just like the rest of the grunts, we have to find a way to survive the absolute chaos that is the battlefield. Fear not, lads. The Roman Legion is strong. Damn, this loads green though. See, the streaming part for you guys is you get to listen to me be an absolute idiot. Whereas on YouTube, I'm just going to cut these load screens out. But I haven't done anything on Facebook in a long time. And I noticed you guys actually paid a lot of love to my page in the time I've been gone. It's got a lot of viewership in the time I haven't been uploading, weirdly enough. So I figured I'll come back and we'll stream a bit. We'll stream here and then... I'll cut those down and put them on the YouTube channel for um, the other, the other, basically half of our uh, f follower followers. Really hope we're not about to crash, man. That would suck. Uh, da, 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 da. If we hop over here, have a look. Oh, we're in. Excellent. All right. Look, see, look, it's, it thinks we're allowed to do things. We can command ourselves. All right, boys. Whoop. Look at all the legionaries. For Rome! 
We have a spear out. I feel like we're not going to get much done with that. I want to get it in front so I can get a look. Look at, um... Look at the helmets, dude. Alright, there's going to be a bunch of barbarians over this hill. We come to them, lads. Oh, they're kind of coming to us. Guys, they're coming to us. It's very small dudes, but they're coming to us. Small group of dudes. Very small dudes. Oh, God! Speaking of javies to the face earlier. Alright, here comes the mosh pit that is battle. We get XP based off kills. Ah! That's one down. It's a mosh pit. Look at the slaughter. Ah, we got downed. Look at the Roman Legion car through. We got one kill. It's unrealistic, so if we get hit, we get absolutely smacked. Oft. Look at that. Carve through them, lads. The Legion pushes forward. These guys running back in. We've got an archer over here. He's going in. Oh, he's down. Ah, oh, no, you brave soul. Oh, here comes their infantry for another push. Up oh, the Romans engage. The Gauls are being driven back. The Romans are going for a push and retreat approach, apparently. it's We're losing far more men than we should. If we just all out assault them here, we win this. There we go. There we go. It's interesting to see how the AI fights each other, to be honest. It's a lot of um, guerrilla warfare. Engage, retreat, engage, retreat type stuff. Look at all those archers. Fresh waves spawning in back there. Like we need the reinforcements up here, hey. Oh my lord, look at that. The carnage. Now, the thing to remember is that if we were fighting on their side of the battlefield, their reinforcements, if they had more men, would be spawning in closer to them. Because we're fighting basically right... Like, our reinforcements are just here. I gotta get a different camera mod. I gotta get a new A camera mod, sorry. So we can zoom around quicker around these battlefields. But yeah, see, like, our, our next wave of infantry is right here. Whereas theirs is way across the battlefield right now. We just get to mow through them. What's left of their army is breaking upon the Roman shield wall. Not gonna lie, though, they are carving through with what they've got. Holy damn. Get in there, lads. Oh, there's the cavalry charge into the back. Oh, beautiful. Surround and destroy. Vanni Vidi Vici. We came. We saw. We conquered. Look at that mass of men. They're surrounded. Oh, look at him. It's a meat grinder. It's a Roman sandwich. The barbarians have a couple morale-keeping flag bearers in there, but they're just... Ah, oh, their best units are surrounded. The fact that this blob is still even moving is insane. Dude, barbarians are no joke. This is nuts. <clears throat> Is some of their good units with the bronze bronze helmets staying alive for so long dude that was just a tribesman that died batani warrior uh the standard bearer went down the, which means the buffs he provides are also down up oh, here's where they drop i think once the standard bearer goes down yep look at them like ants. Excellent. That's a win, folks. The 
Romans. Victory is theirs. This blob of men celebrating. The archers that got way too close to the melee line. Alrighty. <clears throat> we got one kill. Which, for honestly a peasant ranked warrior, is not too bad. Now we got a heal. We got 37 gold off just serving with the army. Our wage went up a little bit. Yep, so see, we start as an auxilia uh, Tiro. Shield, spear, and sword. I'm super keen to get into javelins because those are disgusting. Uh, train with the troops. Do we even have the health to be training with troops? So this is a cool thing. You can go in and just basically do a little battle royale of melee and just see how long you last. Oh! Um, yeah, that <laughs> that went amazing for us. I couldn't get my shield out in time. The guy just jabbed me in the face. Ouch. That was quick. Oh, my pride. I suppose I had no HP. And as I said, javelins are nuts. It's like 15% health. Oh, keep waiting. <clears throat> I'd like to compete in that tournament, but I'd also like my health to be full. We get more health regen because we're serving as a soldier. The ghetto. Sir... Um, I don't mean to question you, Emperor Garios, but uh, should we possibly go do something? Uh, defending Veron Castle. Is there another attack at Veron? Real? That guy just ran away. Like, how big is this army? Uh, bigger than ours, sir. We are going to get surrounded. Oh, no. I feel like this is the day the Roman Legion may fall. Oh, don't worry. He's got us out of there. <clears throat> that would have been a really bad area to get sandwiched in. I don't... <laughs> he went over to assist with that. I don't think you were needed, sir. Oh, yes. Another battle. Let's go. See if we can survive uh, the initial charge this time. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Can I choose where I, where I start in the formation? Because if I can do that, I can just start on the edge. You want to be on the wing of the formation. You don't want to be in the center. The center, as you saw, becomes a mosh pit of death with no way to fight or back up. Uh, me. Over here. Haha! -ha. Hello, my fellow peasants. Oh, and not peasants. Oh, looks like the archers are moving up. I didn't see what the infantry orders were. Are we going... I feel like we're going defensive here. We're not charging at them. Their infantry's right there. Dude, we're super close to them. Just stick to the wing. They're closing in on our archers. So, Garios, I think we need to... Um, Defend the archers. Um, our our infantry might wanna might wanna help help the archers with um, the horde of infantry charging at them. Shields, man! Oh wait, no, we're moving again. Shields, shields. They're in shield wall. We should be in shield wall. Romans do it uh, like tortoise formation as well. If you have enough. If these guys form a shield wall, you'll see it. Getting some flanking shots on that sh on their shield wall, though, is pretty nice. Getting some good hits off, dude. Oh, their shields aren't really designed for blocking arrows. Not really. Oh, we're doing a skirmish. I like it. Oh, the... Cav's gone in to disrupt the enemy. Alright, man. Cav's pulling back. Infantry line should be coming into us. Get them, lads! 
Oh, we got one. Assist on the flank. If we can help take out some of their better units. Ah! Some more XP would be good. That man wants us dead. Jabs. We are Romans. Romans do stabbies. Stab, stab. Ah! This became a weird combat zone. Ah! I lost a lot of health from that hit, dude. Oh, I'm getting flanked. This is a weird spot to be and I need to be elsewhere. That was a weird position to be in. Their men are coming from that side. Our reinforcements are now coming in behind us, which is good. Ah! Oh no! No! Did we get one or two kills? Ah, oh, we only got one! Oh well. This is the life of a tier one soldier, guys. Our armor is terrible. Our weapons don't hit hard. And our reflexes are terrible. <laughs> That's it, men. Break them. Show them the might of Rome. The power of civilization. And the superiority of Cav. And a way more effective archer line that we somehow have. I'd imagine our auxiliary archers would actually be better than our standard archers. Haha, <laughs> got him. That's it, men. We did it. For Rome! For Rome. Alrighty, here we go. Garios is going to go put his prisoners in there. We're 400 XP of becoming a tier 2 enlistment. A slightly better wage every time we kill something. And hey, getting paid 14 gold a day is far better than, you know, having to pay 14 gold a day. 50% health, it's not bad. If there's a tournament here and it becomes daytime while we're here, that would be good. Oh, here we go. Participate in the tournament. Let's see if we can survive a tournament. Try and make some money. It's not like we've got much to lose. We don't, like, have to pay anything. Oh. Keep the shield up. Javis are going to be scary as heck. Is that go down? Ah, oh, damn it. Ow. Ow. Oh, damn it. That guy was... Whew, that was tough. Alright. Yay! Having a named character on your team helps. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. This is gonna suck. Wait, they were all, like, named characters aside from, like, one person. This is nuts. Oh! Dismounted! The Gladius is a disgusting weapon against mounted opponents, apparently. That's a round win for us, lads. Garios looks amazing with that helmet, dude. That is the helmet of the king. But we are going to win this round. Garios, face me. That's it. Good work, Milos. Now it's a 1v1 between Milos and Smildo. Smildo Schmaggins. The most loyal Roman soldier. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Go on. Ah! <gasps> no! 
I should have just used my sword. And that's how Smilbo became absolutely embroiled in gambling debts. Got it. Second place. Oh, we got some skills. We'll have a look at our skills. Uh, One-handed. We'll go deflect. Leadership. Tactics. I think right now, the main priority should be increasing our one-handed skill. Get our combat up. So that we don't have situations like that again. Going all the way to rotate now. Uh, Sir Veron's castle's under siege again. I think he's going to deal with that, yeah. If we can bind our armies, we could probably siege one of their cities. Lord Garios. Oh, we're here to get more men. It's fine. Just fast forward. Oh, uh, our, our party leader Nemos abandoned Garios. Oh, that's 35 looters. That's free XP. Surely we don't die in the fight against the looters, right? I mean, I say that, but dude, their rocks hurt. They hit you in the face with a rock, you're gonna have a bad time. I'm gonna race you there. <clears throat> Looters come to us, so. Here we are. It's the Looty Boys. They're gonna get like cav charged, and like half of them are gonna die. These are counted as barbarians instead of looters. Oh, dude, yes! Killing spree! That's 300 XP! <laughs> See, I'm not defending the Empire right now. I'm grinding XP. It's far more important. Oh, dude, those Javis are disgusting. Give me one. Give me one. Ah! You bastards. That's right. We got three kills. Like I said, 300 XP. I think that's a level up for us. Let's go, dude. I think. Maybe. Three hundred thirty-one. Oh, I only gained like 10 XP for each of those guys. Because they were like bandits, I think. That sucks. Unfortunate. Athletics. We'll upgrade athletics next. Let me run super fast. Reduce the cost of he wearing heavier armor as well for later on. That was a tribe of Romans from the standard game. <laughs> and 10 passive XP. That would be an okay fight there. Oh, we're in Zionica, getting more recruits. Damn, Nemos is gathering a squad. Ah, oh, this group's dead as hell. He had a friend run this way, I mean, I wonder if we can get them, catch them both out. Garius gave up the chase. Oh, we've got him. Smildo is here to assist Nemos in everything he needs. Ah! We keep spawning in backwards, but it's fine. How much infantry do we actually have in this squad? I have no idea. Actually, I don't see an archer line. 
Unless they're just mixed in amongst us right now. Actually, I think they are. Yes. Romans are running in. These guys are mostly Romans too, though, so... They'll be beefy. Gotta get over this the crest of this hill. And then our archers will probably be able to see them and shred them. But the AI is probably just going to charge us in. There goes the arrow fire I was talking about. Alrighty, let's go lads. Squad on me. Whoa, throwing knives. Shield wall. If I get hit here, I'm dead. <clears throat> I think our own cavalry nearly got me killed there. I didn't get a kill. That was insane. That guy died. He must have. Oh no, they're chasing him. I tried. No kills for Smirado this fight. Get some more recruits in this army. <clears throat> Faction, Schmagenge. It's not my party, don't lie, it's Nemos's party. Most of your, most tasks are unpleasant, tiring, and involve menial labor. Well, that's fine, because it gives athletics XP, which we need. <clears throat> Continue, sir. Nemos getting even more recruits. Someone beat him to some of them. Is that chick just left? Sea of Greece, or whatever her name is. Sea of Greece. Sea of Greece. It's like Sea of Thieves, but with, you know, Greece. Um, need 200 XP. And then we'll rank up. Following Apis's party, I think he's going to join an army. Are we sieging a castle? Get me in there, boss. Are we chasing fans right now? Ah, right, here we go. Get me in there, son. Wait, our 510 men are going to go besiege Maranath? Sir, they have more defenders in the city than we have in the army. <clears throat> I'd hate to question your intelligence, sir. Oh, don't worry, I take it back. Garios has a lot of men. That was a pretty handy dude to bring along. <laughs> Look at this, we're going to get an epic siege battle. Romans 
<clears throat> Take to the walls. We're sieging, we're sieging. Wait for him to build the stuff. Do we have siege equipment yet? Yeah, there we go. Tower. Ram. Are we slapping down another tower? Oh, no. Artillery. So there is a large army coming to fight, to fight us. We either need to attack the city or turn and fight them. There is no middle... Uh oh. Well, this should be interesting. The Empire has been caught with our pants down. <laughs> it's the Battle of Tudorburg Forest all over again. Alright. Hold the high ground. Oh my god, the AI gets it. Why are y'all moving so funny? Here we go. Trying to figure out where they're all going. Where they stand in their formation. So they'll shuffle left and right. Oh me oh my, there they come. Run. Our men are going to spawn down here. Which could work in our favour because we could have a whole swarm of infantry spawn behind them and that could really be an issue for them. I think though, just playing the Romans purely defensively, I think we win this quite easily. With javies and archers, I think we're just really well off in this battle. Now this is a big battle. I don't want to be fighting too early. I will be staying in the back lines like a smart auxiliary. This guy gets it. Next to this Centurio. I'm getting shuffled to the front of the formation. No! No! No, don't lock me in with a shield ball or something. Oh god, we're moving again. Damn it. General, you need to pick a location. Ah! Oh. We're like fucking yelling at them. Uh, so, the more we move, the less we're shooting back. This is definitely a better, like, high ground position. But hold. Ah, oh, yay, yay. For a moment there, I was like, this commander, man, he's a smart guy. He's putting us on high ground. And then he just kind of proceeded to run backwards and forwards. Very confused. We're doing a lot of damage to them. Because between javelins, archers, and slingers, we just output a lot of damage. If our infantry keep shields up, we'll probably outlast their ranged assault. I really don't want to see an order given for us to charge. That won't go well. I think our archers are slowly but surely getting wiped out. It's kind of fine for us because our men are now behind them. Not a bad force either if we can sandwich them in. Could be big. Oi, 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 oi. They have more men than us, so us losing men is a bigger problem. They have another army after this, so... I feel like we'll be uh, having to rejoin the legionary soon. Our cavalry is committed, clearly. The enemy infantry doesn't seem to know which direction to fight. They're turning! This could be huge for our ranged units, if they can take advantage of it. Some of them appear to be out of ammo. 
Now we're firing. Lol, some of our units are just running past to get in here. What the heck? Where'd that guy come from? Must have been a, um... Ugh. Noble Batanian horse. Take it down. Dismount it. Like how they're, they're just fighting like a secondary force down there. Our reinforcements is bleeding in, dying. And our main force of infantry is just holding over here. Uh, their, their infantry appears to be wigging out. If we charge them, we're in a good spot. Maybe I can entice some of them into coming forward, which will entice our men into coming forward. There we go. And the clash has begun, gentlemen. Hold the line, man. Oh, back up. This is such a weird situation to be in. Wah! Oh, oh god, that hurt a lot. Someone hit me in the face. Oh my god, I've got a javelin in my side. Ow. To say the very least, ow. I suppose our army's just committing now. Get back into my army, that's it. Oh, got him! Shivved him. I feel like it's not going to matter. Ah, oh, another one down. Oh, this is going to be a really bad situation. They're surrounding us. Don't let them get away with that. Oh, no. Well, I tried to not let them get away with that while our infantry was doing what our infantry is doing. The problem is, oh, actually, it could work in, in our favor if they keep coming in waves like this. If the enemy doesn't reform, we could chase them down, but I feel like we're just going to get grinded down eventually. If they get to mass up like they are now, we're going to have a problem. Yep. Ah, oh, the absolute carnage. Many a Romans died on this day. Look at that little pile there. I've got corpses on pretty low, just to reduce lag, but if I had them on max, dude, this field would look... Oh, abysmal. Many Romans gave their lives. Now the enemy's just weakening us with arrow fire before they finish us off. Look at this one guy's like, I'll get a horse. Haha! -ha! Now I'm a mounted Roman. I want to follow the escapades of that man. No! Mounted Roman 46! He just got promoted. He had a wife and family. I'm sure many of these Romans did. Probably also the barbarians. Dirty barbarians.
Uh, and that's that's the fall of the Romans in Tudorburg Forest. <laughs> Welcome to my live reenactment of Tudorburg Forest. Oh <laughs> uh, no. And there's the flanking force of Cav. Oh, we've seen this before, but normally last time it was in our perspective. <coughs> hmm. Coughed there. If that was super loud, I'll cut it. Hmm. They have 474 men remaining. The Romans were crushed. I must... Your captors have no more use for you and aren't in a murderous mood, so they let you go. Oh, what nice gentlemen. I will never bother you again. Oh, God. I will never bother you again. I swear to Lord, I am a reformed Batanian now. I would never once think of joining the Legion. Trust me. I am Batanian now. What? Anyone over here worth joining? Minarvina. <clears throat> At least there's somebody left. Hello. I'd like to join up. I'd like to enlist. Starting with about half that XP. Oh, here we go. A little battle to start us off. Let's go. We just got out of captivity. They released us because they weren't feeling murderous. And then we joined a new legion and came back to fight them again. Some would consider our character insane. Because if you understand the definition of insanity. You understand that this man is absolutely nuts. Alrighty. We move up with the legion. Our small squad, our platoon. Some of our auxiliary trainee brothers. Led by some uh, more veteran legionnaire legionnaires. They have 38 infantry and 37 archers. Look at the hill in the background, dude. That looks so good. The trees are kind of iffy. But that's because I've got my graphics right the, right the hell down. To suit the thousand men on the battlefield. And the decent character detail. Ah, oh, they're over the next hill. There's one horse over there, two over there. We're in a similar position. One, one, one. We don't really have a cab force. Look at him. He's carrying his little sling. That's so cool. I love it. I'm with you guys. They're in a circle formation. I think they're in a circle formation. the cav that's it infantry charge got that guy come on Got to get back some of that XP we lost. Oh, that guy stole my kill. That was kind of rude. Oh, no! I really wanted to get... I got greedy. I wanted to get the kill on the really... High XP looking dude. Damn it. Oh, well. This is progressing far better than our last battle against the Barbarians. 
a little bit of carnage there as our men finish off the barbs Whoa, what a cav charge from our two cavalrymen one whoop that guy's horse got skewered dude holy damn right in the neck damn double spear Oh, here we go. Here comes one of our cav cavalrymen. He's taking out the uh, slingers. Oh my god! Are you okay, sir? That looks like I hurt. I bet he's feeling pretty happy about himself. I suppose we still have one cavalryman left. That might, might face him. You're going to need your spear, sir. Oh. He was a brave warrior. But his time has come. Oh. And they run over his corpse. They cheer as they stand over the f flesh of their fallen enemy. Look at this man. This is not what he expected when he came into work this Tuesday. Continue, sir. I mean to recruit some more men. On account of our recent skirmish costing us some troops. Myself included until I recover. I suppose technically I'd count more as a companion that they just give gear to. Gain points in medicine. Oh yeah, we have skill points. Let's use skill points. Charm. Uh, virile. More likely to have kids. A bit more bigger. More warrior skill. Let's go, dude. Let's feckin' go, dude. Oh, we're joining an army. Is this where we try to avenge our lord? Who's in this army? As pros our, rec our previous lord is. Don't see him there, but he could be. Hmm. Yeah, one kill and then we just probably just generate the XP we need. We paid 32 gold a day. Better than the like 10 or so we were getting at first and we haven't even been promoted yet. We're going to siege Maranath with 700 men again. Guys, I don't know if you remember what happened last time. Oh, no, we're going for a more, much more reasonable target now. Abcoma Castle. Makes sense. Way over here. Yeah, there's an army following us, and he was like, I'll take it on. Sir, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but I honestly believe... Oh, Achaos' army is sieging that out. Oh, there's a big force coming. Dude, these guys want to... Wait, wait and reserve. No, they're not going to come and help. We were abandoned. Like, I want to join this battle, but I know we've lost it. We'll leave that to the others. This battle's lost. There's no point in me joining it. Uh, surrender. Smildo's free again. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, you. Oh, wait. That's the Batanians. Wrong group. You. Talk to army leader. Hmm. 
No, I can't do that. But what I can do is join you. Because I'm a loyal soldier. And everybody knows. Indeed, indeed. Good soldiers follow orders. We have 100 health. Can we, well, we can participate in a tournament. I mean, it's night time, but it's probably because we're in um, serve as a soldier. It just lets us since we can't actually pick what time we're there. That spear looks amazing, dude. Weapon tier 5. Let's bet. Let's do it. All in. Alrighty, let's do it. There we go. We've improved our skills a little bit since last time. Vision's not great since it's night time. Excellent. We will have victory. We will bait them to us. Oh, dude, what a shot. Huge. Gotcha. Oh. What a battle. Battle of the jabby jabs. Woofed. Defeated at last. We won a tournament! Woo! Smirdo fears no one. You have proven yourself to be a fine warrior. For your bravery and loyalty, I have decided to give you a promotion. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, Archon Achaos is the best leader ever. Um. Cohortales Miles is the next upgrade. Unless we want to be a ranged soldier, which I don't really want to be a ranged soldier. I might run a different let's play at one point and try the try being a archer in the Roman army or an archer in the barbarian army. That would be interesting. Barbarian skirmisher. Just marching on around, looking to get more recruits for my dude. Ah, oh, we missed the tournament. My bad. I'll own up to that one. Oh, we're going back here. Maybe I can do the tournament. Oh, it's gone. Well, that's depressing. <coughs> that was our old lord, a piss. Oh, that army broke up. We serve Archon Achaeus. Who's heading to Veron Castle. I suppose it's his castle. Or his, his clan's castle, anyway. 
He's an Archon, so I assume he's the head of the family. Dryadics. The Dryads are over here now. How goes diplomacy in the world? We'll have a look, see what everyone's up to. King, no, 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 kingdoms. Uh, who are we at war with? Anyone? We're at war with no one now. We've made peace. Dryadics, I'm assuming. Oh, at war with Sturgia. I thought they were at war with the Batanians. Won't be long until we have another war. I hope. Oh, we're on the move. We're patrolling around Veron. Excellent. Intuitive gameplay. We're roaming the countryside. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a dad. Dad jokes just come naturally. Oh, look at that little little mini flag over there. That's me. I exist as a mini flag. Look at me go. Sound the alarm, we're under attack. Two arms, men. Wait, what? What? I'm sorry, we're under attack by what? I've never, I haven't seen this before. Did we just get ambushed? Form a defensive ring. What's attacking us? I thought we were in peacetime. Oh no, it's all cavalry. It's all Cav. Spear. It's had to form a defensive ring, but like, where are we forming a defensive ring? Well, on this side of this rock. This wouldn't be a bad spot to form a defensive ring. Right here. Help protect you from all the damn horse archers that are coming in. Shields. Oh, dude, this is actually a good spot right here. Hold this. Hold this. If you hold this, we're going to be just fine. If you don't, there's a possibility we could die. Small chance. Ah, oh, dude. This sword is really good at dismounting dudes. Not going to lie, against mounted targets, thrusty thrusty stab stab sword is the best. What the f is happening down here? I know what's happening. Free kills is what's happening. I will prove myself worthy to Lord Archon. Ah. Yeah. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, yes, dude. So many kills are going to be mine. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Bad spot to be. Not as bad. Much better. Was not meant to hit the horse. Lol. I love the inf our entire infantry lines over there just chilling, and I'm just over here getting kills. I don't know how many we've killed, but it's been a couple. We've got some decent kills in this battle. Ah! Another one down. Victory, lads! Oh, I can ride this. Aha! I'm skilled enough to ride this. Fear me. Now I am a mounted warrior. They've escaped. Excellent work, lads. We're covered in blood. 
Indeed, Archon. Indeed. Glorious victory. Bandit ambush party. You better run from us, dude. We absolutely messed you guys up. Skills, one-handed, swift strike for more swing speed. And then put more into athletics so we can run fast as fuck, boy. Oh my goodness, following Altanos's party. That generally means we're going to join an army. Are we at war with some booty? Hmm. I assume so if we're forming a party. Kingdoms, West Imperium. Yep, we're at war with the Southern Imperium. I said this would happen. I said we'd go to war with our neighbor. And here we are, at war with the south. Which is more accurately our east. Oh, we're here to join up. Oh, no, we're joining up with the big army. Let's go, dude. This is gonna be some sick battling. 600 men march on Sestadime. We move on Lycaron. <clears throat> Poros probably would have been the better target. Just secure this. Lycaron's very in the open. And very deep in their territory. I imagine this is going to be another trap, but god damn will it be fun. Alright, we're in the siege. Or we're sieging anyway. Whether we get to have a siege is a different story. Generally, the Southern Empire in Benelord gets quite weak because they're always at war with the Azurai, and the Azurai are overpowered. As far as, like, horse archers against Roman units, unless the AI can figure out that they need to just, like, lock them down and wipe them out with their infantry, instead of just sitting there and getting picked apart, the AI will just sit there in a circle and just wait for the enemy to run out of arrows. Which can work if you have a bunch of like tier 5, 6 infantry units. But when you have very early units, it doesn't work out so well. We're losing troops. Is this man's army starving? Did he just not bring provisions? Who was in charge of provisions? Or is it morale? I don't know, dude. Reputation. We have 1,600 reputation with the Western Imperium. I don't know how much that is in the grand scheme of things, but I think that means they like us. Tier 3 plus foot troops in your formation. Decrease your armor weight. That is a good one to have, and I like it. We're losing so many men. So many wounded. From starvation did this guy just not buy supplies before he went to war Altanos needs to be fired this guy was not smart enough to lead that army will there be a new army form that's what I want alrighty guys I might have to wrap this up episode up right here. Little baby just woke up. Um, yeah, there'll be more of this coming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.